So with this Panda video compressor, it's really nice because if you ever get into a situation where I'm on StreamYard now, this can apply to anything, but this is a specific uh, issue I ran into, and this is where the Panda video compressor comes in so nice because check this out. So I'm trying to upload a video into StreamYard. Now, StreamYard says... The file is too big. The size limit for video clips is 200 megabytes. So nothing 200 megabytes, or I guess, should I say, nothing over 200 megabytes you can load in StreamYard. So if you have a file that you need to compress, right, whether you're sending it over Gmail, which is only 25 megabytes, or you need this specific application where I'm trying to load it in StreamYard, and the file size was 898 megabytes, almost 900 megabytes, just under uh, a gigabyte of data. Well, video, excuse me, Panda video compressor will compress the video from 890 megabytes. I set it, you can, you can set how from zero... Uh, uh, to 890 so in, you can set yourself specifically the file size you wanted to compress it to so I did 150 megabytes uh, which would put it under the 200 megabyte threshold and video excuse me panda video compressor is compressing this video to 150 megabytes so I can transfer it to my computer right and it doesn't take that long uh, it's probably around probably two minutes now, something like that, which is, you know, that's definitely doable. So I'll show you what it'll tell you here after you compress the file. Now, it gives you a pop-up, and it's saying, uh, original, excuse me, it was 870 megabytes, and it compressed it down to 136 megabytes. So it would definitely allow me to, to plug that into StreamYard. Now, you can compare the two, or you can roll it back. You can replace the video. So you can make that, you can remove that 870 megabyte original video and put the compressed video in there in its place. You can share the compressed video or you can save the compressed video. So what I'm going to do is save it. Uh, so it's going to be saved in storage emulated O movies video panda. So basically movies and then video panda. Okay. Uh, so it saved it there, right? So let's go back and I'll show you now. You can rename it, which I probably should have done. Compressed compressed video, right? No, I saved it. So let's go back. So it'll tell you how much you've saved. And let's go back into the original uh, so the, uh, original file album. So this is the home page, right? Of Video Panda. So this is your all your original videos. This is the albums of your breakdown, right, of your gallery of pictures and videos. Well, I guess this is videos. They have a Panda video compressor application, and they also have a Panda picture. Let's go see what other apps they got. So this is all the apps by the developer. They have the Panda video compress. They have photo and picture resizer. They have Puma, photo resizer and compressor. Um, and then some other ones here. I guess this is a new one. I have not even tried. But the two that I use, and this is a brand new phone, so I just installed it on my phone. But normally I'll have the photo compressor and video compressor. So let's go ahead and install that. But let's go back into here. And it'll have your compressed right there. Albums, original. Now, when you go into settings... I do have the premium. I don't remember how much it is. It's not that expensive from what I remember. Uh, you can rate, obviously, feedback, compress photos, which will take you to that other app I just installed. Uh, crop and rotate photos, sign in, YouTube video tutorials, share Panda app, privacy. 
uh, what is this? Okay, so you can sort by, it wants to focus on that light up there. Let's do this. So you can sort by file size, date, and name. And that'll give you a bigger thumbnail. I think you can record in here too, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So that takes you directly to your video camera. What happens if you back out? There you go. So very easy, very simple. Now, let me show you what it looks like when you want to compress another video. So this is 733 megabytes. So let's just choose that, right? So we selected one and let's go to next. And then here are all your options. So there's your video, there's your size, there's the resolution. So here's the nuts and bolts of this application. And it gives you so many different, this is why I love this app, so many different options on how you want to compress it or and or make this video smaller. So you can make it a small file so you, it's easy to share and it gives you the resolution right there. Now it's low resolution, but easily shareable. Medium file, better quality, right? And it gives you the resolution there. Large file, just compress it. So you're not going to change the resolution. You're just going to trim the fat and um, keep it at original resolution by just compressing the file size. Or fit to Facebook Messenger. So you can easily share it Facebook Messenger. Fit to email. This is... I can't tell you how many how many times have you tried to email uh, G, you know, Gmail or any email. You try to email somebody a picture, a video, and it always says file size too big, file size too big. Even if it's a document, file size too big. Now, this doesn't do documents, but just a perfect example. This does videos, but how many? It, it seems like it happens all the time, literally all the time. Well, this is a specific app you can use that will compress anything under 25 megabytes so you can send it through email. You can choose a custom file size, which I did earlier. So again, 7 fit 33. You can actually choose how big of a file size you want to watch this. Custom file size. And then I'll ask you, so what's your desired file size? You can simply select that there. And then you got you can put in a custom resolution or it'll give you recommendations for resolutions, right? You can actually upscale it too, which is cool. So not only will it compress it, it'll upscale it as well. So this is just a fantastic application. It comes in handy. I can't tell you how crucial this is. This is my, one of my must have applications I put on every single phone. So whether you're a content creator, whether you're just an average person using a phone, this fit to email will save you headaches, time, all the above with this single application. So that's why I recommend this to everybody. Just a phenomenal app. There's nothing else like it on the App Store. Um, so uh, this is my quick review of Video Panda. And uh, let me know if you got any questions in the comments. I check them every day. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Peace.